This is the last topic of chapter 1, 11 chemistry and it is one of the most important topics of class 11 as well as 12. Because whatever you study right now in this chapter, in this part, everything comes in the second part of class 12 chemistry solutions. Okay, so what is a solution? The first thing, a solution is made of, of solute and solvent. What is a solute? A solute is something that dissolves in a solvent. Oh, I wrote both the things as the same. Ah, okay. So, a solute is something that dissolves in a solvent. When there is only one solute added to a solvent, then it is known as a binary solution. Like, I dissolve salt in water it is a binary solution one solute in one solvent if i add sugar in water again it is with one solute with one solvent and if i add a salt and a sugar and I dissolve both of them in water, then my dear friends, it is not a binary solution. So what are we looking out here as? Is a binary solution. Another way to look at solute and solvent is the one that is present in less quantity is a solute and the one that is present in more quantity is a solvent. Then let's come to the next one, mass percent. What is mass percent? Mass of the solute divided by mass of the solution into a hundred. Let's do a numerical only then we come to know is if we have understood the topic or not. We have to find the mass percent of the solute. Let's see. How much of solute is present in the question? 2 grams. How much of the solution is present? 18 grams? No, 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 no. 18 grams is just the solvent. It is 18 plus 2 into 100. So 2 divided by 20 into 100. 25 is 5 twos are 10 percent is the concentration in terms of mass percent. Let's look at the next one. Mole fraction. Mole fraction is the number of moles of a substance divided by the total number of moles in the solution. So if it is a binary thing, then number of moles of A divided by number of moles of A plus B. If it is for the other one, number of moles of B is number of moles of A plus number of moles of B. Now, always remember, mole fraction of A plus mole fraction of B is always equals to 1. You can check the calculation. You need not believe me. Khud karke dekho. Na upon Na plus Nb plus NB upon NA plus NB, we have the same LCM, NA plus NB, Upar bhi ho gaya NA plus NB, so cut cut a gaya 1. Now, if mole fraction of one substance is 0, then the other one automatically becomes 1. Likewise, if A is 1, then B is a 0. This means that the answer for the mole fraction, the answer for the mole fraction is always greater than equals to 0 but less than equals to 1. Something like what you did in probability class 10. Okay. Then we come to molarity. The most important one, you will get molarity throughout next year. Okay. So, molarity is the number of moles of solute divided by the volume of solution in liters. What is the formula for number of moles? 
number of moles is equals to given mass over the relative molar mass. Now calculate the molarity of NaOH in a solution prepared by dissolving its 4 gram in enough water to form 250 ml of the solution. Dekhte hain, to sabse pehle relative molar mass of NaOH. Ek Na, ek oxygen, ek hydrogen, 23 plus 16 plus 1, that is a 40 grams per mole. Now dissolving its 4 grams, given mass, 4 grams. Okay. Molarity. What is molarity? Molarity is equal to number of moles divided by volume in liters. Number of moles is the given mass over the molar mass divided by volume in liters. But the volume, my dear friends, is given in ml. ML ko liters may convert karoge, thousands they divide. So molarity is equals to 4 upon a 40. Multiply karoge, reciprocal ho jayega. 200 is ko kata piti karodeya, 4 a jayega. Ye bhi kata piti, 4 ones are 4. A uh, a, uh, ye kata piti ka 10. So basically it becomes what? 4 tens are 40. So it becomes 0.4 moles per liter or moles per liter or just capital M. The unit can be written in any of the forms. The next one is molality. Now before molality, okay, let's look at what is molality. The numerator is the same. Number of moles of the solute divided by mass of the solvent in kg solvent in kg what was molarity molarity the numerator is the same number of moles of the solute divided by volume of solution in liters yaha pe it is solvent in kg Yaha pe solution in liters. Now, which is a better way of measuring concentration? Molality is. Molality is always better than our molarity. Why? Because if we change the temperature, okay, agar temperature may change karoge, to volume may change aega, lekin mass is a constant there is no change in the mass so this will give you the same answer wherever you go but this answer will keep on changing according to the change in the temperature ah, this type of a question my dear friends is one of the most important questions wherein the density is given okay ab sabse pehle given kya hai we are given the molarity. Capital M diya hai. To iska matlab molarity given hai. 3 molar. Ka matlab hota hai. 3 moles per liter. Kis cheej ka moles hai bhai? Kis cheej ka moles hai? NaCl ka. So, 3 moles of NaCl is present in 1 liter. I'm highlighting this one liter. Okay. I'm highlighting this one liter. Ab, what is the molar mass of our NaCl? 1 Na, 1 Cl, that is 23 plus 35.5, that is 58.5, what? Grams per mole. Ek mol ka mass itna hai. Question me kitne moles diye hai? Three moles. To hum dhoonte hai three moles. To three moles ka mass kitna ho jayega? Three moles of NaCl ka ho jayega? Three multiplied by 58.5. So 
So 3 5s are 15, 3 8s are 24, 25, 3 5s are 15, 75, 175 grams. Ye, ye mere shero becomes the given mass of NaCl. Ab, let's look at the density part. The next thing that is given to us is density. What is the density of solution? Density of solution is given to us as 1.25 gram per ml. Matlab, 1 ml may 1.25 grams hai. Lekin mujhe answer ye dekna kis mein chahiye? Liter mein. So we convert it into liters by multiplying it by a thousand. Dono side ko thousand se multiply kar do. To ye one liter ho jayega. It is 1250 grams of the solution. Ab molality ka formula abhi abhi humne dekha tha. In molality we need the mass of the solvent. How will we get the mass of the solvent? By subtracting mass of the solution from the mass of the solute. So, solution aya 1250 minus mass of the solute aya 175.5. Here, look at this. Mass of the solution we have found out. Mass of the solute we have found out. Dono ko subtract kar diya, to kitna aya? 5 fives are 10, 5 4 9, and then 7 7 14, and then this becomes an 11, so 10. 1074.5 grams. But we need the mass of the solvent in kg. Kg me karne ke liye, thousand se divide. 1000 से डिवाइड करने का मतलब 3 डेसिमल प्लेसेस पीछे सो इन केजीज इट बिकम्स 1.0745 केजीज अब मोलालिटी का फार्मूला क्या है मेरे शेरो द फार्मूला फॉर मोलालिटी इज मोलालिटी इज इक्वल्स टू नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ द सॉल्यूट divided by mass of the solvent in kgs. So, number of moles of solute kitna hai? Bhoat easy hai. 3 moles. So, aap 3 moles lik do. This is 3 moles. Mass of the solvent in kgs kitna hai? We have found out out here. So, this is the mass of the solvent in kgs. Now, you just divide both of them and you get the answer in moles per kg or it can be written as moles per kg or it can simply be written as a molal or it can be denoted by a small m. So this my dear friend concludes the last and the most important topic of the first chapter and this is one of the most important questions in which we can give a five star according to importance. So thank you very much. Hope I was of some help to you all. Bye-bye. Take care.